Officials with Utah State Parks say the picturesque falls below Gunlock Reservoir are now closed due to the high number of visitors flocking to the area in recent weeks. But staff say the high winds kept the falls running today, and ABC 4's Kitty Corrales still saw more than 20 vehicles crammed into the parking lot, including many from out of state. Now, state parks officials say the falls are nearing their end here at Gunlock State Park, and they say this didn't happen magically. The Washington County Water Conservancy District, which owns and operates the reservoir, let out water from the base of the dam, which prevents the falls from running. And officials say this is a COVID-19 decision. It's a tourist destination that brought hundreds each day, even today, to Gunlock. It was a heart a heartache for us to have to make this decision. Gunlock State Park manager John Allred says the mesmerizing falls, which have only appeared three times in the past 10 years, are a sight that locals and tourists still want to get a glimpse of. But in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, when social distancing remains a major public health priority, Utah State Parks say they often saw the opposite. We care about the people and our visitors and we care that people recreate responsibly. Officials say the overwhelming crowds over the weekend led to first responders saving a Las Vegas woman who they say had jumped into the falls and likely landed on an unseen boulder. He says the public left behind five trailers worth of trash for volunteers and staff to clean up. Although a Utah man was killed last summer after jumping 60 feet into the falls, park officials say the decision to stop the falls this year is about protecting COVID-19 guidelines and directives. And this is the decision that we felt like we had to make. John says he wants to thank those who did social distance and they will continue to limit visitation as much as possible, adding that when the parks reach capacity, no one else will be allowed in. Park staff are encouraging visitors to continue recreating responsibly and locally. And you'll maybe find a place that you've never been before that you can be COVID compliant, be safe and and, and really find a treasure that you never knew was out there. Katie Kralis, ABC4 News.